Okay, we continue breaking God's laws. Guess what happened? He will continue punishing us. I'm going to show you real quick. John chapter 8, verse 32. And ye shall know the truth. And the truth shall make you free. The truth will make you free from this bandage while we under right now. Why the bandage? Why we under bandage? Because we breaking God's law and God is punishing us with our enemy. You know what I'm saying? He sent the white man to punish us. Why? Because we broke his law, set of commandments. You feel me? So now, if I ask your nationality, if I ask your nationality right now, what are you going to say? If I ask your nationality, what nation of people you are? You are Israel, you're not black no more. Right. You know what I'm saying? You, you from the tribe of Judah. You know who are from the tribe of Judah? Let me show you, read that. Um, Christ. You don't know who the greatest man that walked the earth is from the tribe of Judah. Who the greatest man that walked the earth? Jesus Christ. Listen, you got it? Check this out. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident. What evident mean? It's it evidence. Read again. Huh? For it is evident. Yeah, what that mean? It for sure. It for sure that what? That our Lord. Who is our Lord? Sprang out of Judah. From who? Judah. So what tribe are you from? Israel. You the for the nation of Israel, but from the tribe of Judah. You know who who ever from the tribe of Judah? Jesus Christ was from the tribe of Judah. You understand? Know right. And the and this is part of the truth that we have to learn to set up free. You understand? Know saying? So let me give you some laws, man. Give me. Give me Deuteronomy 20, uh, verse 8. Let me give you some love, man. You know what I'm saying? Because remember, we're in this situation because what? We could be broke the laws. So when when do we supposed to go to church? When do people go to church? We're supposed to go to church on Saturday. On Saturday? Yeah, but they changed it to Sunday. Why? They changed it to Sunday. They send you to Sunday to keep us in sin. Every Sunday. That's the day. Let's read it. Let's read it real quick. Then, we, then we're going to read verse 2. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. Huh? What, do you think, what do you think that he said to remember the Sabbath day? When you remember Sunday because you what? When you when he said remember the Sabbath day, why he command us to remember something? Because we forgot something. You know what right. Yeah. So what we when we forgot it, when we came here in slavery. Yeah. That's why he said remember the Sabbath day. Because when we came in here in slavery, they took our understanding of being an Israel away from us. You know what I'm saying? So that's why he said, Remember the Sabbath day. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Uh -huh. Six days shalt thou labor uh -huh. and do all thy work. How many days? Six days, huh? But, but the seventh day uh -huh. is the Sabbath of the Lord. Oh, so the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord. So what you have to do on the Sabbath of the Lord? And it thou shalt not do any work. You should not do any work in the Sabbath day. So on Saturday, we're not supposed to be doing no work. We're supposed to keep it holy for God. But they change it to Sunday. So now on Saturday, we go here, party, buying, cooking, drinking. You know what I'm saying? So we do all that, what we're doing? Breaking his law, and he's punishing us. All right, now, Leviticus 11. So you eat pork, do you eat pork? No. But you eat pork, you eat bacon, you eat shrimp, lobster, crab. Who, who give us that to us to eat? Mm -hmm. Let's see what God say about eating shrimp, lobster, pork, all of that stuff. Let me get that knife. Eleven and nine, Leviticus eleven and nine. So God, He created all the animals. Okay, He created the pig, the shrimp, the crab, the lobster, all the animals. So what they eat? What the what those animals eat? What are they? Bottom feeder, huh? Crustacean. They eat the the, the 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 vacuum of the ocean. You know what I'm saying? They clean up the ocean for us. The pig, the pig clean the earth for us. You know what I'm saying? You have to think in mind. Back in those days, we didn't have no toilet, we didn't have no flushing water, and no all that stuff. You know what I'm we didn't have no no trash, trash can, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So what we used to do, we used to accumulate all the food, all the trash, 
on the earth of pig who come and eat it. You know what I'm saying? So pig eat trash, pig eat all the nasty stuff. The same thing in the water. The water can get clean because the, the cost, cost, cost station eat it. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what God say about eating the stuff and stuff. You say you eat them, huh? Let's see what God say. Read. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 9. Uh -huh. These shall ye eat of all that are in the waters. All, we talk about all that's in the water. After this, we will go to go to the to the pig because you say you don't eat pig, but we gonna show you what God say about eating pig. Okay, read. Whatsoever has fins and scales. Whatsoever got what? Fins and scales. You have to have fins and scales. You know what I'm saying? And do what? In the waters, in the seas, and in the rivers, uh -huh. them shall ye eat. Then those that got fins and scales, you should eat. You know what I'm saying? Crab don't got fins and scales. The catfish, he got fins, but he don't got scale. You right. know what I mean? So he cannot eat catfish. Shark, he got fins. Well, exactly, you feel me? So God said, whatsoever is in the water that got fins and scale, you should eat. Jump out to, to the pig. Leviticus 11 and 7. And the swine. The pig, the swine. Though he divide the hoof uh -huh. and be cloven footed, uh -huh. yet he chew it not the cud. You know what they mean that chew up the cud? Okay, you see how the cow, when the cow eat grass, okay? They swallow the grass, then they bring it back up, swallow again, and eat it again. That's why I call show the cow, okay? okay? The pig don't do that. You got the cow do that, the lamb do that, you know what I'm saying? But the horses do it, but they don't got, they don't got cough cold, you know what I'm saying? They food in a, in a cup, you know what I'm saying? So they say, read again for the beginning. And the swine, though he divide the hoof, and be cloven footed, uh -huh. yet he chew it not the cud. Uh -huh. He is unclean to you. He is unclean. We ain't supposed to be eating them. You feel me? John 2 46. You understand? Know God gave us a little set of commandments to keep us clean. You know what I'm saying? Because we are holy people. We are his chosen people. So he don't want us to be eating trash. You feel me? Real. Verse 46. Uh -huh. This is the law of the beasts and of the fowl and of every living creature that moveth in the waters, uh -huh. and of every creature that creepeth upon the earth, uh -huh. to make a difference, to make a difference, listen, between the unclean uh -huh. and the clean, uh -huh. and between the beast that may be eaten and the beast that may not be eaten. You know what I'm saying? So the beast that should be eaten are the one that he gave us to eat. Did not be eaten, the swine and the. What is nation? Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.